Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will guide you through the process of creating an electro patina on copper metal. Electro patina is a technique that involves using both electricity and chemicals to create a colorful oxidation. It can be a fascinating and rewarding way to create beautiful and unique designs on copper jewelry or other decorative items. To celebrate my 1K subscribers, I'm going to give away all the exclusive contents about the Electro Patina. You will receive the complete video and the ebook, with all the detailed instructions of how to prepare the Electro Patina solution. I will send all the digital material to 10 of you who leaves a comment saying, I love copper. All the winners will be announced in my next video, so be in touch. I'm thanking you 1000 times for all the support you gave me in this journey. Now, let's go back to the video. This is the solution I made. Wear a mask, gloves, eye protection, and let's get started. This solution can be used to apply patina on your copper jewelry or to any other copper items you want to color. Let's now set everything up for the actual process. The entire process needs to be done under a fume extractor or a kitchen hood. Before starting, the solution needs to be warmed to a range of temperature between 65 and 90 degrees Celsius to encourage the oxidation. Set up the anode by inserting a copper electrode into the solution. It can be any kind of copper, a plumbing pipe or a plate. I personally set a flat sheet of copper close to the beaker wall so that it won't touch the cathode while operating. Connect the anode to the red clip, which is wired to the positive pole of the power supply. Turn the power supply on, and set it to 1.5 volts at the maximum amperes. This will provide the electrical current needed for the oxidation to occur. The black clip needs to be connected to the piece of copper jewelry that you want to color. This is the cathode, and it's the negative pole. This technique of patina involves the dipping of the copper piece into the solution for short periods of time and quickly moving it up and down in the solution. Be sure not to touch the anode while dipping the piece in the solution. The result is not easily predictable and may lead to an uneven distribution of color or to a patchy finish, but it will be a beautiful and unique rainbow color effect. Temperature and voltage are a big factor that can determine the consistency of the color and the speed of the process. To achieve a gradient of colors, lower the voltage and keep the temperature constant. Quickly dip your piece in the solution and take it out with a constant speed. The low voltage allows for more control over the final result and let you create a much more solid color on the piece. Move the piece up and down in the solution until you see a cool effect. Isn't this a fun way to make patina? And if you are not happy with the color you got, you can just raise the voltage above 1.5 volts, quickly dip the piece in the solution, just one time, and the patina is gone, making the piece ready for a new round. When you are done, wash the piece with distilled water and dry it. The resulting copper piece, after the electro patina process, exhibits a beautiful range of colors, from blue and green, to yellow, purple and red, arranged in a pattern, that gives it a unique and eye-catching appearance. 
These colors make it an excellent choice for decorative purposes, especially in jewelry making, which can be fashioned into stunning pieces that showcase the beauty of this process. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope you liked this video, and I will see you next time.